money are getting rejected at the checkout lane. A coupon that some people thought would save them money did not. Six News watchdog Rafael Sanchez is digging deeper into this coupon that's causing controversy. Trisha Todd, this is a piece of paper causing all the problems. The $10 deal failed for customers who printed them online on their coupon and went shopping, but did not see the savings. I have a system. I spend probably two hours a day sometimes finding the coupons. Lori Ann Kachowski is at work looking for deals. She'll show you her binder that will save her bundle. Usually save it anywhere from 80 to 90 percent. Lori Ann belongs to a group of stay-at-home parents who share coupons on the internet. She downloaded this one from Sears. With it, she could save $10 on Junior's apparel with no minimum purchase. The coupon was good from September 15th through November 14th. When she went shopping at Castleton Mall on Saturday, it was not accepted. I was told that it was a fraudulent coupon. She then called Sears corporate office. They told me that they had met their allowance for what they could give for the coupon and that they could no longer give out any more free merchandise. We tried to get to the bottom of the problem. But store managers are not allowed to speak to the media about anything. Clipping coupons is one way to save money, but the same coupons online are creating chaos. Back in July, Marsh was forced to cancel an online coupon after it spread way beyond its customer base. In May, KFC faced a coupon tsunami and had to give away more food than it had planned. What a lot of stores didn't realize was the power of the social networking sites particularly things like Facebook and posting things on the internet. Dan McQuiston is chair of the marketing and management department at Butler University. He says not only are merchants finding it difficult to control who gets their coupon, the economy is driving the demand for their deal. Since 2008, coupon redemption has seen almost a 20% increase. Lori Ann believes she's increasing her savings the more coupons she cuts. And she will keep on cutting. Now tonight a Sears spokesperson says the coupon is no longer valid and apologizes for any inconvenience. Now, as an industry, more merchants are stepping up their efforts to control who gets their coupon. One attempt could include placing a customer's name, your name, in the barcode to trace the source of any misuses. As you can imagine, your name could be in here, mm -hmm. and if you're the one who shares it with your friends and your cousins and your grandma, mm -hmm. they got to come up to you guys. So be okay. careful. Next time you go shopping. Just a warning from the watchdog. All right. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.